Welcome to Inside the Studio with Greg Wirth. In this episode, I'm going to talk about a really cool plugin. It's a powerful tool. Um, I've been using it a lot. To mention, I, you know, I've been away for a little bit. I had a small vacation for spring break, and then I've been mixing a project, so I haven't been able to get to videos like I have been, so I apologize for that. But I've been able to experiment with a lot of new stuff. As time opens up for me, I'm going to start creating videos and show some stuff that I've been discovering and trying out. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, this particular one is the Hoffa IQ Analyzer. And basically it analyzes the frequencies of various things. And it's a very, very powerful plugin. As you can see, you can put it in full screen mode. I have uh, the Raven MTI here. So this is full 1080 or whatever it is. Um, you can just drag it from the corner and make it big. Here's the features on it. It's got analyzer and it and it can analyze peak, hold, RMS, and energy curves in this display. Um, it can hold the note values in the keyboard if you want to see it like that. It also shows frequency and it displays multiple signals in this view. It's super precise. Uh, it's got the phase correlation meter, frequency correlator showing 31 bands, which is right here. So that shows you what the where the energy is in in the particular track that you're listening to. It's got zoom function, so you can get high resolution if you want to zoom in on certain sections of a track or you know frequency areas. It's got, as I mentioned, adjustable adjustable display, tone generator in the plug-in version. This also works in a standalone, so you can drag audio files into it and compare things, which I can explain later on. You can do custom colors and curves, which I'll, I'll show you the colors. I'll show you why that's important. You can save stuff, manage it. What's really cool is that, that this can link to their EQ. They have a, like a really cool mastering EQ, so you can link it to that. So let's just get into it. So as you can see down here, I, I have this plugin inserted on the stereo output the master fader in this Pro Tools session. And that's what this is here, master in blue. And then I also have individual instances inserted. I have it on a kick drum and a bass aux. So a really cool feature with this is that it allows you to analyze frequency response of a track and compare them. So a big thing is comparing the low end on the kick and a bass track. And um, the way that you do that is you insert one of these plugins on the stereo bus, then you insert one at the end of each track that you want to compare. And you can do it on every single track in your mix, you know, whatever, whatever you really want to do. And what's cool about this is this, this shows you the, the frequency response together so that you can see where, where there's masking and you can hear it. So if you're hearing a problem with the low end, um, you'll be able to see where the frequencies are being shared and you can decide whether to do some sidechain compression, which is what I prefer, or you can do some EQ carving, things like that. But it, ideally, it, it's a little bit of a combination of both, but you can make a decision based on what you're seeing. So to start, let me just play the track and I'll show you what this looks like on the master bus. All right. Okay, so see how this is blue. You can you can go down here to this color section and assign each each track here a specific color. And I'll show you why that's important is because if you go down here and I turn on the kick, see that's orange. So that lets you see these relative to each other and start comparing things. And so this curve for the amount of time that I played, this this these were the highest peaks um, of the track. And so you can see where there's a lot of middle missing and there's a peak here at around 200. See, if you hover here, it shows you the frequency. You can also see down here on the keyboard, um, over here, the low end is pretty hot at 70. So, you know, it's just cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the master off and I'm going to play, turn on the kick and the bass together. 
the kick is in orange, the bass is in green, and you'll see those frequencies together and you'll see what frequencies they share, what they don't share, what not. So as you can see, as I'm adding these, this will show RMS, the energy, different things, but I, I like to keep it simple, peak and then let it hold so that you can just um, see. So, you know, understand more about what's going on. So it did a peak hold here. And so the orange is the kick. So you can see that it, it's pretty heavy here around uh, 69, 70. So around there, you know, and then it shows the bass has a dip in that area and it's getting hot below here in 50, 60, and then also a little bit above hundred. So as you can see, um, this, this is actually pretty nice. They're, they're living well together. And the reason is, is because I'm, I'm EQing and I'm doing a little side chain compression so that um, it's carving out this hole for the kick to live and the bass to live together. That's a really cool thing. And um, not only is this is this plugin really valuable and um, beneficial for this instance, because this kind of, you know, even for example, like guitars, tons of mid range and your vocal, you can compare those together in a mix and see what's sharing. And then you can kind of pick and choose what kind of frequencies you want to carve out so that you can intuitively uh, make everything fit. And you can listen while you're doing it and, and th this will actually show you the the dips that are happening with the EQ and whatever compression you're doing. So it's really, really cool. Um, what I used this for recently was um, just comparing mixes of a whole record that I mixed and preparing it to be mastered. I wanted to make sure that the, the low end was, was pretty balanced from each other. And what's really cool is that, you know, if you put this in standalone mode, you can drag all your mixes into here just like the, you know they'll show up just tracks like this like master kick aux but they'll they'll be named whatever the files are and at that point it'll analyze it and it'll show and you can assign them each different colors and it'll show you the frequency response of the entire track you know of all the the whole record and you can kind of see if there's some songs that are bass heavy you can make a note and go back and be like, let me reprint this mix and tweak the bass a little bit so that it, it's, it's more um, cohesive to the record. Or if you can see if there's a peak at certain frequencies, you know, and the, to me, this is really helpful because when I'm listening, especially in the car and various places, because it's important to listen in consumer environments because it, you know, not nobody's going to be sitting in your sweet spot in the studio and enjoying the music just like you are. So you got to be able to let it translate in various locations. So I, I do that quite a bit and listen on different speakers, headphones, in the car, different cars, go to someone else's house, whatever. And um, doing that, th this will help you kind of pinpoint what you're hearing. If you're hearing problems in a track, you can kind of look at the frequency here and, be, and, and understand like, okay, so let me tweak this EQ here and I can make a better overall record because everything sounds balanced. One last thing that I want to mention is that this, this plugin window is customizable. So say if you don't want to see this, this window here, you can come over here and hide that. If you don't want to see this meter here, you can come over and exit out and then it's all gone. And then you just can look at uh, this window very big. And um, this is kind of what I do. And this is helpful. And even in mastering, because I, I mixed a record that I ended up mastering as well. So I had this on the chain and I was just watching things as I was mastering. And it's just, it's helping you understand the frequency relationship. Because when you're hitting limiting and certain things, you want everything to have the same impact. You know, you want one track to, to sound 
equivalent to the next even if they're a different kind of vibe or style you want the low end and certain things to be balanced so that you know the the listener doesn't have to crank their speakers or whatever or you don't want something to be harsh so this kind of gives you a good balance so um hope you enjoyed it hoffa makes great plugins for mastering mixing things like that they have a ton of other stuff i'll show you down the line i definitely suggest checking this out this is an extremely valuable tool Again, thanks so much. Sorry I, I was away for so long. I'm going to try and keep up on the videos here. And uh, please subscribe to the newsletter on my website. And also subscribe to the YouTube channel here. And I'll check you out next time.